Today's episode, I'm going to talk about my favorite thing currently to talk about. It's entrepreneurship. It's who I am. It's what I'm currently doing. Finish your current, finish your current task and then go on to the next one. And that is how you build a business. You build it slow and you build it steady. You do one task at a time. Hello and happy day. <laughs> Welcome, 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 welcome. Hello. My name is Lisa Lana Ola from lisalanaola.com. Welcome to Learn, Laugh, Live with Lisa. That's me. Today is another episode, and I want to welcome you and thank everyone for visiting the website, lisalanaola.com, um, this week. Thank you so much. It's really, really, really appreciated, right? Today's episode, I'm going to talk about my favorite thing currently to talk about. It's entrepreneurship. It's who I am. It's what I'm currently doing. First, I should introduce myself. If this, this is your, you know, if you're just new or whatever, I am Lisa Lana Ola. I'm a 44-year-old woman living in New York, right? And I um, started, I became an empty nester about four four years ago. I became an empty nester about four years ago. Um, my daughter went off, did it, started doing her own thing. Uh, she's currently 22. So, you know, um, then I created, I started with a side hustle. I made it a full-time business. So lisalanaola.com is my full-time business. Um, my company name is Lana Ola LLC, right? I'm an empty nester. I'm an entrepreneur. And those are my two uh, current major titles, right? <laughs> those are my two major titles. So welcome. And that is me. What I produce, what I produce on lisalanaola.com are accessories. I have my own line of head wraps. I have my own line of inverted umbrellas and I'm going to be showing you them on the next video because I, I, I haven't shown you what I do, right? So um, the, my own line of inverted uh, um, umbrellas, they open inside out. I have hair accessories, hair combs, hair clips, all of that fascinators, whatever you need for hair, accessories, go to my website, lisalanaola.com. And then I also have this YouTube page. I haven't filled out my description yet, but I will. Um, Cause what I'm basically doing is I am cooking stuff that people would like to try, but they don't know if it's good or not. So I will test it out for you. I don't do stuff with a lot of ingredients. I don't do fancy stuff. I'm not a big chef, but I like to First of all, I, I like to try new things and I like to share my opinion and let you know if it's good or not, right? Oh, I should tell you I got new glasses. Well, they aren't new. I'll get into that afterwards. But yeah, so on this page, I'm cooking easy recipes for you to try. I'll let you know if they're good or not so you don't have to waste your time trying them. And I also talk about my journey as an entrepreneur, what it's like because everybody makes it big, make it seem like it's this big fancy thing. And um, it is pretty exciting building something for yourself. I love it, but there are days where it's like, you just wanna put your head, head in your hands and just shed a couple of tears, right? So I, I'm sharing the journey of entrepreneurship and I'm cooking so that you don't, you don't have to, if you don't want to, right? So, that's that. So that's who I am. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. I have a lot going on. And that's what I'm going to be talking about today. Today is, uh, today's topic is about, um, the ideas that you come up with, how to get yourself organized. So you do not lose steam on what you're currently doing. That's what today's topic is about. So welcome, welcome, welcome to learn, laugh, live with Lisa. Okay. So, um, I introduced myself and now I'm gonna talk about my glasses. So these, first of all, y'all saw my hair last time. I like to switch it up. I love to switch it up. I like long hair, short hair, I love it all. So if you see me with different hair, just know it's still the same Lisa under the hair, right? I'm still who I am, still the same. Got new glasses though, they are old glasses. Um, before I started wearing the clear ones that I had, I had these. 
and I put them away and then I went to the eye doctor I needed new lenses so I was like okay I want to go back to my old frame so I just used that it's also a money saver I did not have to pay for new frames I did not have to do all of that right so it's a win-win so of course I kept the clear glasses so maybe next time whenever I need them I'll be able to switch it out so I love I love switching up my looks that's what I really love so that's that do you like it? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. How do you like it? I look all Liberian, like, like a Liberian, cute little, little Liberian, right? <laughs> Liberian, Liberian. <laughs> Liberia is a country, right? So let's get into it. All right. So um, today I wanted to talk about entrepreneurship and the many ideas that we're going to have when we start with our business journey right we're gonna uh start off because i started off with i started building my company with head wraps no with hats first i started with hats i started with hats it was a one size fit all hat and i started with that then i moved on to or added to um head wraps and then i did the umbrellas and i did the hair you 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 grow as a you grow as a business person you start out selling one thing or offering one product and you realize that you know people want more so you just add and add and add so that's what i did and then i started the youtube page i started out with one idea and 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 doing different videos and then i branched out right so how do i stay on track how do i build instead of starting something and stopping because i'm the type of person that um i like to finish what i start if i started it i want to finish it and i want to be great at it right so what i do is some because sometimes you come up you're laying in bed and you come up with different ideas like at one o'clock in the morning you're like oh i'm gonna do that i'm gonna do that do that do that do that meanwhile you're already into you already started something else that you haven't even finished yet so what i do to keep myself organized and and to remove distraction i use my note app on my iphone it's that simple just take out the note app start a thread with things you have to do just you could title it business to-do list right so business to-do list and then you write your your what you have to do and as you come up with different ideas on what you have to do or what you want to try you can just keep adding that put that to the bottom of your list and you're gonna get to it just know that you have to finish the first task that you started because I realize a lot of people, um, they want to do a lot of things. Even myself, I want to do a lot of things. I want to do all the things. And that's what had gotten me so nervous when I started my business because I'm like, I want to do all the things and I want to do it right. I want to do it perfect. I, I want to be the best entrepreneur out there, right? But the thing is, you don't know all the things. You don't know everything. Um, you know, I didn't know <laughs> And I say this all the time because I want to let you know, I did not know anything about entrepreneurship. I Zero. I worked at companies. I, I, I did my job. I saw how, uh, you know, they did their job, but I didn't really know how a company was built or what the, what the investments were or anything like that. So I'm learning as I go. That's why I want to share with you so that you can release some of the anxiety that you have or the pressure that you have because if you're like me and if you're if you're watching this i know you're like me you like to do things to your to your ability to the best of your ability you know you want to do the best that you can and then you get caught up and then you get stressed and then you just maybe stop um no not doing that so i don't i don't i don't subscribe to that stopping just add to your list on your notes and do the finish your current finish your current task and then go on to the next one and that is how you build a business you build it slow and you build it steady you do one task at a time sometimes i realize that we over complicate things um just to avoid doing things that we don't want to do but it's really that simple it's just 
getting yourself organized, getting your task organized so that you can do the work that needs to be done. Because there's there are people that are waiting for your business, waiting for your ideas in this world, and you are you're not organized. And it's as simple as just writing each task down and getting it done. And when you feel like, you know, maybe you're not worthy or you're not you don't have anything to offer or you feel like you're not good enough just push past those negative voices and just get to work just do the work just say i'm gonna do it the voice will come up and say you're not you're not good enough you're not great enough okay that's fine i'm still gonna try and just push past it and um just get the work done so open up your notes write down what you need to do what you want to get done write down each task and get to work and when you feel like oh oh i'm so excited i want to try something new put it at the bottom of your task list and get to work the work is there it's waiting to get done uh the world is waiting for your business so get started okay sometimes you have to do more than one task at a time maybe you'll be juggling two or three tasks but you're not going to do the two or three tasks pause midstream and then pick up something else Finish the two or three tasks that you have and then go on from there. So that is just my tip, something that I have been learning as an entrepreneur and I just wanted to share that with you so you can release some of the overwhelm that you're feeling. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing with lisalanaola.com. I'm taking my time with that. Put a product up, put another one and another one and you will see what your what they love you'll see what your your they love and on YouTube you'll see what they love as well just put one thing out do another task and another task and another task and that is how you build so take your time use the note app on your phone or if you don't like the note app find something that you can use I am not a big journal person. A lot of people use journals, but I realized that when I write in a journal, I never go back and read what I wrote. Like, honestly, I am not even looking at that journal anymore. I do use a calendar with my weekly task. I put those down there because I go back and read the calendar. And I definitely use my note app because I always have my phone with me. But I, I'm not a journaler, so I, I can't talk uh, speak about journaling. But yeah, so if you are new to this entrepreneurship game like I am, journey like I am, um, make sure to share this with a friend and subscribe so you can stay tuned to all the all the things that I'm going to be sharing about entrepreneurship because I'm loving it. It can be very tiresome, which I'm going to be sharing more about in 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 um in the next videos and stuff it can be tiresome you can do it scared you can it can just uh be overwhelming at times but just know that you have people that you can um talk to i'm here i'm a new entrepreneur you have any questions ask me um if i don't have the answer i will refer you to someone who does but let's stay connected so don't forget to hit the subscribe button follow me on instagram lisa lana ola and um, I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Learn, laugh, live with Lisa. You're amazing.